It's common to feel a little down during the colder winter months, but for some people that change of season can trigger a type of depression called seasonal affective disorder. Reporter Nicole Lee spoke to a mental health professional about the disorder today. She joins us now right here in the studio. Nicole? Sean, it's Seasonal Affective Disorder Month, a national effort to shine a light on the disorder triggered by a lack of sunshine. We learn that many people suffer locally, but help is available. Sadness, lack of energy, loss of interest in usual activities, oversleeping, and weight gain. These are all symptoms of seasonal affective disorder, or SAD for short. It most commonly begins in late fall when the days get shorter. Mental health professionals say the high number of cloudy days make seasonal affective disorder especially prevalent here in Erie. NAMI of Erie County Community Outreach Coordinator Heather Newton says seasonal depression is more intense than just the winter blues. This is where it affects other areas of your life. It might affect where you're sleeping more, where you're just kind of down and you're sad and you have a hard time just kind of pepping up a little bit. So when it's really impacting more areas of your life than just kind of being down, that's when I'd say it's, it would be more like seasonal depressive disorder. Newton says anyone who thinks they may have seasonal affective disorder should see their doctor. There are several effective treatments available. There is medication that can work for depression that would equally work for seasonal depression, but until it gets to that point, you might want to try just uh, a light box, light therapy, even getting outside, even if it's a dreary day, just getting outside and getting that fresh air also helps. Newton revealed that she suffers from seasonal depression herself and using a light box for just 20 minutes a day has made all the difference. NAMI of Erie also offers a support group every other Wednesday at 5 p.m. to support those in the community dealing with any type of depression.